So today we're going to be talking about sunlight. Sunlight is very, very, very important to us. And I'm just going to kind of review some of the reasons why it is important. And you will see at the bottom a link that will tell you the clinicals and the information behind it so that you can be blessed. Uh, when we have enough sunlight, um, it helps us um, with boosting our mood and making us feel calm and focused. This is because it acts on serotonin and it allows us to have more of it. It protects us against SAD, which is the Seasonal Affective Disorder. Women, this is special for you, and especially in winter, because most of women are, and men are low in vitamin D, but if you feel the blues, it's because, well, you are probably low on vitamin D. And so when you have enough sunlight, it helps you with sad, uh, which interestingly is just sad. Um, but anyway, the point is that uh, it's just not a good thing to be sad, all right? So when you have enough sunlight, it helps with your serotonin uptake, and it just makes you feel happy, not sad, all right? Uh, so that's very important. Now, I'm sure that if you're a female, you know about PMS, right? Have you heard, <laughs> I, lo I love the, uh, the honesty, have you, lo have you heard about PMDD? Okay, that's like PMS and steroids. The pains are greater, the flow of blood uh, is painful, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not going to go into all the details, but the point is that if you have enough sunlight, it is actually found to be effective not just with PMS in general, but PMDD, which is far stronger and greater than um, PMS. So very important. Um, it helps you with um, other types of depression, depression in general, and also deal with anxiety. Having enough sunlight is very, very, very important for you. Now, when you have enough sunlight, we call it the sunshine vitamin because you get vitamin D. That's right. So if you're a white person, you get about 50,000 IUs if you expose yourself, um, you know, in the beach somewhere there uh, for a good while. If your skin is a little bit darker, well, you get less of that because the darker the skin, the less absorption you have. But the point is this. No vitamin D you're going to get definitely something called osteoporosis or osteomyalgia, and neither of them are good for you, okay? Uh, you do not want to have a weak uh, structure or bone system. You need to have enough sunshine vitamin, not only in the sun, but also making sure that you have enough vitamin D. All right, um, it helps us with cancer prevention. Uh, this is incredible research that shows that there is a plethora of uh, biochemical reactions that are happening when you expose yourself on the sunshine. Not only does it deal with vitamin D as exposed in your skin, but it also deals with cholesterol and how it is synthesized in your body. It is very, very important that you get enough sunshine for it helps with different kinds of cancers. It helps with Skin conditions, as a matter of fact, uh, we see that uh, the WHO recommends that sun exposure should be one of those treatments that we have up there. Psoriasis, sema, jandas, acne, et cetera, and the likes are very, very much affected by how much sunlight you expose yourself to. All right, and of course, we talked about the vitamin D benefit. Why is that so important? Because it plays an important role in your immune system. I'm sure you all heard about COVID, right? And one of the main things that was uh, recommended and found to be effective was a good dose of vitamin D. It actually helped the immune system uh, to be able to not only help with strong bones, but also with a strong immune system. It has direct, direct correlation of your calcium and phosphorus. And so it alters many parts of your body. All right, I'm not going to go through all the vitamin D benefits, but they are amazing, including huh, boosting weight loss. That's another whole lecture. All right, so practical. How do you get enough vitamin D? Well, let, let me tell you something, folks. If you live in this neck of the wood, you're not getting enough vitamin D. 
You can strip yourself naked in the middle of the day and you're still not going to get enough vitamin D. Why? Because most of the studies are mostly done on the equator line. In there, probably you might be getting some, but here, I guarantee you, you're not. So I encourage you to know your vitamin D level. It is a must. I'm telling you, for the many people that I have the opportunity to talk to about their health, most of them are vitamin D deficient. Please make sure you get an adequate vitamin D. For every 10,000 IUs, you raise your, your blood level by one point. This is very important to understand and to use. I encourage you, if you feel that you're low and you're tested low, to start with somewhere about 5,000 to 10,000 IUs every day as you talk to your physician, of course. A practical way to get this down every day, have exercise outside. That's an amazing way to get not only exercise, but your sun exposure. After your meals, take a digestive walk. 10, 15 minute walk after that with your loved one would allow you not only to have good digestion, but be able to uh, you know, have enough uh, sun exposure. And do something fun out there in the sun, like gardening or whatever you enjoy doing that will be a blessing uh, to you. So if I may ask you for 10 seconds of your time, I would like you to take a pause and take a mental note in your mind and say, Lord, when am I going to do these things that you see here in the screen? Really? When are you going to test your vitamin D? Are you low or not? Because it's good for you to know that vitamin D is important. But if you don't know if you're low, that, that makes no difference for you. Put a time to exercise every day. And make sure that you do something fun out there in the sun. I hope that by God's grace, you consider this and you enjoy the blessings that the Lord has for you.